Yeah. Now let's uh, get started with this uh, time value of money. One of the chapters which actually forms the basis of any finance calculation. Till now, the most of the uh, five topics which we have uh, looked at are more stats driven kind of topic. Whereas uh, this particular topic is the introduction to the world of finance. Any calculation we do, it is based on the time value of money. And all it is saying is the, the money at different points in time carries different value. Right, probably uh, having a 100 rupees uh, today versus having the same 100 rupees after two years, the importance is different. Probably if you have it today, probably you can deposit for two years for some rate of interest and you are going to get something more than 100. Whereas if someone is giving me 100 after two years, then it is 100 only. Whereas if you have the 100 today, after two years it may be 110 or 115, whatever it is. So that is what is the fundamental behind the time value of money. Any calculation which we are doing in the world of finance, we look at the value associated with respect to time. So whenever we are comparing any two, any two investment options, right? any two uh, decisions, probably I have to purchase a bond or I have to purchase a stock, purchase a share of a company. What should be the investment I have to do? See, in most of the finance calculations, what happens? I invest money today, but the benefits of them come sometime later. So, the time is completely different. Across different points in time in future, we get the benefit. But the investment of that happens today. So, the timing of your investment, the timing of your benefits, they are all completely different. That's the re And I cannot uh, equate them on like terms. Right, probably there is a, if I say, if I say, I have, a, I have some 100 crores, I am investing some 100 crores today. Right, I am investing 100 crores today in some assignment. There are two assignments that are available to me. In one, I am expecting that I will get 10 crores in the first year, 80 crores in the second year and 60 crores in the third year. It is a three year investment I am thinking, where I am putting 100 crores today, but I will get money in this order. After the end of first year, I am expecting that I will get 10 crores in second year 80, third year 60. Whereas the second uh, investment, if I put the same 100, Probably let's say it is going to give me something like this. 70, 50, 20. Now what is the key difference? If I look at it on an overall scale. Probably it is like saying in the first I am putting 100 crores but I am getting 150 crores. So 50 crores is my benefit. Whereas in the second only 40 crores is the benefit. So probably an outright decision may come. Choose the first uh, first uh, investment compared to the second because overall you are getting a 10 crore benefit. But the reality for us is this is coming at different points in time. Probably the 70 which you are getting initially itself, if I redeposit it at some other rate, right? because I am getting the cash very early, probably I can deposit it again. And by the end of the third year, it can probably, even if I say five, uh, at 10% I am reinvesting it, I will get 7 crores every year as an interest out of it. So at least after 2 years, the same 70 will become another 14 crores extra. So the finance calculation always is looked at from the time value of money perspective. I have to give the earlier I am getting it, the value that it carries is much higher. So, because the applications wise in, in your uh, bond calculation, you use the same concept. In your uh, stock price calculation, you use the same concept. In your derivatives calculation, you use the same concept. So, almost whatever we will be doing as a part of the financial calculations uh, later, this is the base to it. 
right the typical uh, typical uh, basic mathematics is not we apply here right the time value is what we have to apply in any investment decision whether it is projects or purchasing of the bonds or stocks or any financial calculation which we are doing so from that standpoint it is very much essential that we understand this uh, uh, chapter right and uh, probably from your exam standpoint it's the usage of the calculator right because uh, they can this can be done using uh, the the system or uh, spreadsheet more and more effectively but at same time the financial calculator it has specific buttons which will do time value of money calculation there are a lot of uh, buttons that are present in this uh, financial calculator this is what i was uh, talking about uh, the ba2 plus professional version so what happens is there are some keys here this row completely completely this row they are all finance related calculations and all these five things we'll discuss in this particular chapter all these five buttons and of course there are a couple of more right uh, which we'll uh, see as we move along even all these are more and more specific to more and more specific to finance related calculations itself using the finance calculator things becomes more and more easy from an exam standpoint also so today when we are solving the questions i'll tell you the mechanism of how do we solve it uh, in this right so the same logic probably if you practice at least on two or three kind of uh, uh, numericals it becomes faster and from an exam standpoint you should be comfortable with quickly operating it because you can easily expect at least five five to 10 questions across all the subjects five to 10 questions which require the usage of the calculator